The compliments are insane. Y'all got me out here smelling so good. Oof. What's up, my cherry bombs? <laughs> On today's video, I'm gonna be sharing your favorite layering combos. Now, you guys suggested a lot of these, so there will be a part two. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing five of you guys' layering combos. Now, these are some layering combos that I tried during Vlogmas on camera and off, and I really love, so I wanted to share with you guys my top five. These are the ones that stood out to me the most, and I tried them, and I fell in love. So if you suggested these, thank you so much. I really enjoyed them, and stay tuned tuned for part two where I will be trying some more of your suggestions so please 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 don't feel no type of way if yours did not make the list and if yours did make the list thank you because girl found some new layering combos that I really like without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into this video thank you so much you guys I really really enjoy these fragrances so let's go ahead and start with the first one y'all I got my strips here so I sprayed them on so that way I don't have to spray them on my skin because that would be a whole bunch. But this first layering combo, this one is creamy, it's yummy, it's sweet, it's sexy. This one right here, I've worn it several times on camera and off, and I just cannot get enough of it. Every single time I wear this combo, it gets me so much compliments. I remember wearing this combo to the DMV with Mark, and I had three people stop me and say, girl, you smell good, what are you wearing? And honestly, I told them exactly what I was wearing, but they were looking at me like, what? <laughs> so I had to like literally show them the picture, and they, that's when they really looked at me like, ooh, girl, no wonder you smell good. But y'all, this combo, eight and every single time i wore it, it smells so good tribeca layered with yum pistachio oh my gosh so on my strip and on my skin i always go in with a stronger fragrance first so i sprayed two sprays of this and i sprayed two sprays of yum pistachio on this paper and it smelled exactly like how the fragrance smells on my skin obviously on the skin i did get a little bit more sweetness obviously but on the paper pretty much the same thing you guys it is creamy. You get that ice cream, you get that pistachio, you get that gelato. Oh my God. And then the hazelnut. Both of these have hazelnut in them. I feel like they paired really, really well. If you want to smell like a snack, this combo is everything. It lasts so long on the skin, obviously because this is a beast mode of fragrance and this one does last a long time too. So good. So freaking good. So if you have Tribeca and you have Yum Pistachio, try layering them together. And if you also have Brown Sugar Babes Tribeca uh, perfume oil, spray on Yum Pistachio on there as well. Because girl, it smells amazing, amazing amazing i really like this and i've tried to do the opposite where i layered this and then put this on there not big of a difference but i felt like it lasted way longer when i had this one down first because obviously when you're laying fragrances you want to put the strongest one down regardless so that way it can last long and girl this layering combo Eight, it eight, it eight. I loved it during Vlogmas and I keep going back for more. I have not worn Yum Pistachio without wearing Tribeca and vice versa. These two are so good. I would recommend this layering combo for a date night. I would also wear this layering combo if there's a special occasion and I want to stand out and I want to smell like the ultimate snack. Y'all, this combo really ate. I'm so happy you guys shared it with me because I don't know why I didn't think to put Yum with Tribeca. Granted, I do have a lot of fragrances, but these two, eight. So that's a combo that I'm really enjoying from you guys. Now this next layering combo basically became a signature scent whenever I wanted to wear something sweet and fruity and floral. Whenever I wanted to smell very pretty for my husband, whenever I wanted to smell very feminine, this is the combo that I wore. It's strawberries, it's vanilla, it is jasmine. It's so freaking good. This is the combo that I would definitely wear on a first date if I'm trying to do a huge impression. This is the combo that I would wear if I want, you know, to stand out and if I want to be in my soft girl era. This is literally the soft girl era layering combo. If you don't wear this layering combo, start start just start because it's so good i see myself wearing this layering combo on vacation as well so i'm just saying it's good good 
and it is Donna Born in Roma layered with Burberry Her. Y'all see the dents on these? I've been wearing them together. Oh my gosh, you guys did a good one with this one. Y'all did y'all big one because I don't know what it is, but the jasmine with the strawberry, with the vanilla. I've worn this to brunch several times and my husband really, really loved this. He loves Burberry Her and he loves Born in Roma on my skin. So when I put these together, he'd really be all over my neck, okay? He literally cannot stop touching me when I wear this fragrance. And he's just like, oh my gosh, you smell so pretty. You smell so good. You smell so good. And I'm just like, thank you. <laughs> That's exactly what this will give you. The compliments, okay? The compliments are insane. Every single time I do wear this, I am with him. But if we're going to brunch, the waiter is like, you smell nice. You smell good. And I'm just like... <laughs> Thank you, girl. <laughs> this is so pretty. This is literally a signature scent. So if I'm going to brunch and I feel like layering fragrances because there's times where I don't want to layer, okay, I just want to wear the fragrance by itself, specifically, specifically when I'm wearing my perfume tray. But when I want to layer, yeah. This, this is it. It's basically a signature scent, especially if I want to wear something fruity, floral, and a little bit of sweet. This is perfect. So thank you guys for sharing this. Y'all really did y'all big one with this one as well. I didn't think to um, layer them because I just be wearing these two by themselves, but I see why you guys would layer this. It's so good. It is so good, okay? I like it. So if you haven't tried this layering combo, please try because it is a win. And it seems so simple, but like when you spray them together, each of them elevate the other and makes it makes a new fragrance. It literally makes a new fragrance. Child, not me getting excited. Oh, I just love layering fragrances and y'all did y'all a big one with that one. This one literally puts a smile on my face every single time I smell it. So it's chocolate, it's rose, it's vanilla, a little bit of lemon, and um, some musk. Oh my God. Literally the perfect fragrance for my chocolate, rose, and vanilla lovers. You don't get too much of any of them. It's like the perfect balance between the two. And I've layered this several times. I like wearing this layering combo to bed. And every single time I wear it to bed, just know it's always a happy ending, always. And I like to wear this combo on my hair too. Like y'all see, y'all see my hair growing. Y'all see my, I know y'all cherry brown see my hair growing. So imagine me putting this combo on my hair, okay? It's amazing and it is. <laughs> Roses Vanille and Choco Musk. Roses Vanille obviously has musk, lemon, rose, and aquatic notes in there and sugar. Choco musk, chocolate musk, vanilla. It's so powdery and almost, I wouldn't say creamy, but it's definitely a powdered um, chocolate, like cocoa. Like imagine you're making hot cocoa and then you sprinkle some chocolate powder on top. Y'all, this right here and this. Love wearing this to bed, love wearing it in my hair. Like I would literally not spray it directly in my hair, but like let's say I just do this over my head and then I'll top it off with that over my head like literally like how I'm doing it right there not directly on my hair um and the, like the residue whatever falls falls and girl the compliments my husband loves it he'll just sit there and just sniff my hair rub his hands um on my scalp and my hair smells so good y'all this right here is amazing and it's so long lasting obviously I always put this one down first because this is beastly. And y'all, look at the dark juice. Oh, I just love how beautiful this bottle have become. When I seen this layering combo, I was just like, okay, I already see that it was gonna work. And when I sniffed it, I said, y'all did that. <laughs> I said, yeah, why didn't I think of this myself? <laughs> That's exactly what I thought, like, wow. Why didn't I think of this? This is so good, you guys. It's so, so, so good. So if you haven't tried this, go ahead and try these two together. I really like it. And surprisingly, I tried this first and then put this. It gave me something totally different, okay? I got way more rose and way more vanilla, a little bit of chocolate, but a lot of musk. But then when I put this one down first, I get a little musk, but everything else is balanced perfectly. You see how fragrance work? Depending on how you put it, 
it's so crazy. I love the blend. I love the art behind fragrance. And these two together, masterpiece. Now this next one surprised me. I said, ain't no way this smells this good. It's not one that's Lanier. Like most of the other Lane combos, those fragrances are not Lanier, but those combos together are Lanier. This next combo though, took me on a journey and I sprayed it on during Vlogmas and the way I felt about it when I first sprayed it compared to how I felt about it when it dried down, two different feelings. It's basically like a like and then I fell in love. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and spray it on. It was Nishane Ani and Nishane Ani is vanilla, it is green, it is ginger. It is probably one of the most unique vanillas that I have in my collection. It is very powdery. It's a unisex, sexy fragrance. I really love the ginger and the green notes in this. And then it dries down to like a beautiful powdery vanilla fragrance. Very, very unique. Out of all the fragrances I have in my collection, I feel like I got a good 30 or 40 that is extremely unique, that doesn't smell like anything that I've smelled in my life. And this is definitely one of them. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. But then the layering combo y'all told me, I was just like, huh? They are in two different scent categories, two different vibes. It's either day or night. Like, it's not even the same. But baby, when I layered them, though, because I trusted the process, I fell in love. Jean-Paul Gaultier La Belle, and this is the original. Girl, when I saw this, y'all know how I felt. Because y'all seen me spraying it on during Vlogmas. I was just like, okay, well, let's see how this works. And girl, to my surprise, that juicy pear with the vetiver and the vanilla and the other woody notes that's in this fragrance. Okay, so when you first spray it on, it's like powder and hair. But then when it starts to dry down, that vetiver mixed in with that ginger, mixed in with the vanilla and the greenness and ani, it literally smells like nothing I've ever smelled before. And whatever cherry bomb shared this fragrance, girl, you are a chemist. You are a chemist. You know exactly what you're doing in the lab. There's no way because girl, I would have never layered these two together. Never, because for me, it's like day and night, okay? And now I just can't get enough. I honestly don't wear La Belle without wearing Ani. Now I do wear Ani without wearing La Belle because let's just be honest, Ani is a masterpiece and she is strong enough and she has a lot of character to wear by herself. And I felt the same way about La Belle until I smelled this combo, girl. Wow. And honestly, you guys, if you spray on La Belle first and Ani, you get more of Ani. And I'm like, okay, I'm not mad at it because, like I said, Ani is luxe. She has more character. She's an extended perfume. So she is more oil concentrated. But when I put Ani first and then I put La Belle, you can't tell me Okay, wore this on Sterling's birthday when we went out to go get some seafood for her birthday. And like I said, I smelled so good. I got compliments from them, the girls, but of course I expect that because they, you know, they, they're gonna give me a compliment if they feel like I smell good. But like when you're getting compliments from waiters, when you're getting compliments at the gas station, when you're getting compliments in the most randomest places, that's how you know your learning combo is good. Got home because my husband was not home when I went to dinner with them. I got home and I opened a door and then I was walking towards the game room where he plays his game. And baby, I didn't even get to him yet. I just walked. And he was like, ooh, you smell good. And that was hours. And I'm talking about hours because after we went to dinner, I went to Sterling's house to give her a gift. And I spent probably like another three, four hours with her. Hours. Okay. And I still walked in the room and the fragrance greeted my husband before I greeted him. That's how you know this one is good. Honestly, this is the most strangest layering combo that I seen on the list. And I said, yeah, I need to try this. And I do not regret it. 
It smells so good. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Definitely check out Ani and Labelle if you guys didn't already. This layering combo, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Highly recommend. Honestly, no one would know what you're wearing because it smells like its own fragrance all on its own. And that's exactly how I felt about this layering combo. This is the last one that I'll be sharing with you guys. This layering combo will have heads turning. When I tell you I seen this combo and I said, okay, let me try it. I didn't really knock it like how I was knocking Ani and Labelle, but I still was like, okay, let's see what this is giving the girls. So the first fragrance is Versace Crystal Noir. Now this one, you already know this one, I didn't really like her in the beginning. She is so strong. She is pungent, but I fell in love. I don't know what happened, but I fell in love. My nose changed, I fell in love. It's coconut, it's ginger. It is so good. It is grown, it is sexy. It will get you all the compliments and more, right? And I was like, okay. But then when I seen what y'all was learning with it, I was like, okay. And it is Eilish by Billie Eilish. Now, in the real world, obviously this sounds like it's not gonna be too bad. But I, was, I just was curious about how the vanilla and the red berries with the ginger would smell like. And girl, to my surprise, it smells divine. Oh, I don't know what it is. I think it's the coconut with the ginger and the cacao with the red berries and the vanilla and the amber. Wow, this, this right here is a winner. Now this is something that I would wear for date night or even my performances. When I really want to stand out, I don't want nobody else to smell like me. This is exactly what I would wear. When I tell you it is so luxurious, it literally smells like old money. Because let's just be honest, Versace Crystal Noir is not one for the crowd, okay? It's one of those fragrances, either you like it or you don't, okay? It's, it's, there's no in between. So when I tell you Eilish and this smells amazing together, believe it it smells so unique i can't i can't get enough of it like honestly i've been wearing her i've been wearing her when i planned out this video and then i got my list because i made lists and i put notes on how i felt about it everything basically was a love so i can't i wasn't really detailed i said love hate love hate love hate and this one was a love with three exclamation marks and now that I'm smelling it again, I'm like, yeah. I sprayed this on before I went out of town. And when I tell you it smells divine, it smells divine. So definitely check this one out, especially if you're trying to stand out. Versace Crystal Noir and Billie Eilish is amazing. And honestly, you guys, you cannot go wrong with this one. If you're trying to stand out or if you're looking for your next signature scent, this combo is it. Comment down below. What are some of your favorite layering combos so I can try them out? Thank you so much for joining me here yet again. I'll have everything linked in the description box below. Stay tuned for part two, where I will be trying out some more of your layering combos and let you guys know what I think. If you have other layering combos that you would like me to try, go ahead and comment it down below. Like I said, everything will be linked in the description box below. If I do have any coupon codes, you already know it's gonna be down there. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you found value in this video. Be sure to hit up that like button so that way YouTube knows that I'm doing something good on here so that way we can find new cherry bombs to add to the growing family, all right? Until we see each other again, please, please, please stay safe. Keep on smelling fragrances. Bye, cherry bombs. <laughs> Y'all got me out here smelling so good. Oof.